Christina receives good feedback. Molly informed TJ about Christina's visit at Molly and TJ's flat. Molly questioned TJ's desire to be a father. TJ said that he wanted to be a father as soon as possible and asked Christina if she would be his and Molly surrogate. TJ was taken aback when Molly stated that she did not want Christina to be their surrogate. TJ expressed relief and stated that he agreed with Molly. Molly felt relieved that she and TJ were on the same page. They were holding each other on the couch and shouting excitedly that they were going to have a kid. Alexis told Gregory in her office at the Invader that Tracy had phoned her out of concern for Gregory's health. Alexis inquired as to how long Gregory felt he could keep his condition hidden. Gregory stated that his symptoms had worsened and that he wanted to enjoy the time he had left. Alexis encouraged Gregory to inform Chase and Finn whenever he felt it was appropriate. Gregory expressed his appreciation to Alexis for her trust and friendship. Ava paid Avery a visit in the kitchen of Carly's mansion. Avery went into another room to watch Frozen. Carly inquired as to why Ava had stopped by. Carly stated that Jocelyn had informed her of an uncomfortable encounter with Betty at the pool. Ava tried to play it down, but Carly stated she was up to her old tricks. Ava inquired as to how far Carly was willing to go. Ava threatened to take Avery home with her. Carly responded by threatening Sonny with telling him that Ava had grabbed Avery, and she dared Ava to kidnap Ava's daughter. When Avery returned, she requested cookies. Ava requested that Avery give her the biggest hug ever, and Avery obliged. Ava assured Avery that she adored her and would go to any length for her. Avery left to resume filming. Whatever you and Sunny are up to, I hope you know what you're doing, Carly said to Ava. Ava thanked Carly and exited. Anna told Sunny on the top of the Metro Court restaurant that Pikeman was dangerous. Before Sonny could go into detail about his contacts with Pikeman, Dante appeared. Christina quickly followed Dante. Dante had given Christina a ride after her car broke down, the two revealed. Dante wanted to go to the pub for a drink, but Christina insisted on joining Sonny and Anna. Dante and Christina took a seat. So, have you two figured out why you almost got shot? Christina cut to Sonny and Anna. Christina stated that she needed to clean up and reminded Sonny and Anna that they were not off the hook. Christina was praised by Sonny and Anna for having outstanding senses. Christina met Trish, a Metro court waiter, in the restroom. Trish inquired about Christina's plans to create a youth center for at-risk LGBTYA plus youth. Trish told Christina about the youth facility, which caught Christina off guard. Trish stated that Nina had praised Christina. Trish told Christina about Teddy, her brother. Trish claimed that Teddy was kicked out of their family when he was 15 years old just because he was gay. Trish claimed to have no idea where Teddy was. Trish commended Christina's efforts and thanked her for establishing the refuge. Trish's words had an impact on Christina. Sonny and Christina then talked quietly inside the restaurant. Sonny wanted to buy Christina a new car, but she refused, saying that Sonny had already done enough for her with his assistance with the youth center. Christina, according to Sonny, has the potential to transform the world. Christina thanked Sonny and hugged him. Back on the rooftop, Dante noticed that the gunman used a gun that had been stored in a WSB facility in Berlin. Dante suspected that the shooting was staged and that someone had purposefully shot at Anna. Anna assured Dante that she could defend herself. Dante inquired as to what would occur if Anna was incorrect. Anna reasoned that if the WSB was after her, she wouldn't need a bodyguard because the agency wouldn't try to eliminate her in the same way twice. If I'm being targeted, the shooting at the pool was a one-time occurrence. If it had worked, I would have died. However, it did not work. And if my adversary is inside the bureau, they're not going to want to draw attention to themselves, Anna explained. Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, 
please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Anna stated that whoever attempted to kill her might not try again for months or perhaps years. Anna questioned Dante's desire to be glued to her side for so long. Dante stated that he understood Anna's point of view. Dante agreed to stand down, but asked Anna to notify him if anything changed. Anna vowed to make Dante CPR in the Pentonville Library in an attempt to resuscitate Cyrus. At the same time, Cyrus imagined himself waking up in a cell. Cyrus believed he was in hell and yelled out that he did not belong there. Of course you do, I say. This is where you deserve to be for the rest of your life, Cyrus imagined Laura saying. Laura stated in Cyrus' vision that Cyrus had erected his own prison. Cyrus stated that his greatest regret was severing his relationship with Laura and that he had actually grown to love her. Laura remembered Cyrus holding her and Curtis captive at Porch's house two years before. Cyrus stated that he expected to die on the night of the hostage standoff and that he had planned to bring Laura with him so that he would not have perished alone. Cyrus also stated that he had given the police an opportunity to apprehend him for Laura's sake. Laura was taken aback when Cyrus revealed that he had permitted the cops to shoot him in order to spare her. Laura then stated that she wished she had tried harder to help Cyrus become a better person. Laura, Cyrus claimed, could not have redeemed him. Laura reasoned that everyone was responsible for saving themselves. But do you really want to? Because you're the only one keeping you here, Laura stated before walking away. Cyrus begged Laura not to leave him, and his eyes widened as the door to his cell opened. At the same time, Cyrus' eyes expanded as he regained consciousness in the jail library. Drew delighted as he saw Cyrus open his eyes and encouraged him to hold on. Cyrus was brought out on a stretcher a little time later. Cyrus would be brought to General Hospital, according to a medic. A prison officer later stated that Cyrus was only alive because of Drew. Drew was taken aback when the guard indicated he would accompany him to solitary confinement. Drew tried to argue that he had simply acted in self-defense, but he was nevertheless led away. Christina is interfering in Michael's affairs. According to General Hospital spoilers, Christina is meddling with Michael's business, and many people are wondering if she is overstepping her boundaries. Here's what you should know. General Medical Center Christina is interfering in Michael's affairs. Christina was attempting to persuade Michael to listen to her out in the most recent General Hospital episode. She tried to persuade him that it would be prudent to give Nina a second opportunity, or at least a fresh start, despite the fact that she continues to act as if she knows what is best for Michael and Nina. She doesn't believe Nina is always the bad guy. Needless to say, Christina may come to regret her statements when the ultimate truth about Nina is revealed. And it goes without saying that there will be fireworks when that time arrives. Of course, many General Hospital viewers have expressed their thoughts on the narrative on social media. Some have even said, why should he? Nana is behaving exactly as she did throughout the Nixon fall scam. Every time he gives her a chance, she ultimately demonstrates why he made a mistake. This is no exception, along with, does Christina know Nina accused her new sister-in-law Willow? of having an affair with her brother-in-law, TJ. Why doesn't Michael mention that as one of the many reasons he's not eager to give Nina her millionth chance? Is he preventing others from giving her a chance? No. General Medical Center, what is Michael's next step? Everyone is going to forgive Nana or at least tolerate her openly, another General Hospital fan said. She'll be overjoyed before you take the rug out from under her. That's what soaps do. Just as you did with Brenda and Jax, Liz and Drewson, Sam and Jason on the roof, Luke and Laura daytime drama. That being said, General Hospital fans will have to stay tuned in to find out what happens next. Keep an eye on this space because there's a lot more drama to come. Meanwhile, let us know what you think by leaving a comment in our comments box below. The ABC Network broadcasts General Hospital on weekdays. For timings, check your local listings. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.